NASA and Roscosmos just extended their deal, and that's big news for cosmonauts. NASA and Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, have just taken a major step that benefits cosmonauts. They'll now have more chances to fly aboard SpaceX's cutting-edge Crew Dragon spacecraft instead of the older, tighter, and less comfortable Soyuz. But what exactly makes Dragon so appealing to Russian crews? Let's dive into all the details in today's episode of Elon Musk 36365. Seat swap deal extended to 2027. NASA and Roscosmos have officially extended their seat barter agreement for International Space Station ISS, missions through 2027. Under this deal, American and Russian astronauts will continue to fly on each other's spacecraft. This includes longer duration missions on Soyuz starting with MS-27, which will now last about eight months instead of the traditional six. NASA astronaut Chris Williams is scheduled to fly aboard Soyuz MS-28 this November, alongside two Russian cosmonauts. Meanwhile, Johnny Kim is already assigned to launch on Soyuz MS-27 on April 8. This seat swap ensures that, even in the event of technical issues or delays with either country's spacecraft, there's always at least one American and one Russian aboard the ISS. Due to the extended mission durations, Russia plans to reduce Soyuz launches to three over the next two years instead of four, NASA, in contrast, will maintain a steady pace of roughly one commercial crew launch every six months depending on broader mission timelines. Will cosmonauts ride Boeing Starliner? That remains uncertain. Russia has historically been cautious with new spacecraft. Cosmonauts didn't start flying aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon until 2022, two years after its first crewed flight. NASA hasn't confirmed whether Starliner will be included in the seat barter agreement. Its first long-duration mission, Starliner 1, has faced several delays due to technical issues. One of the astronauts originally assigned to that flight, Mike Finke, has already been reassigned to a Crew Dragon mission tentatively set for launch as early as July. Why Cosmonauts Prefer Crew Dragon The extended seat swap also gives cosmonauts more opportunities to work with modern spacecraft and experience Crew Dragon firsthand. Compared to the cramped Soyuz, Dragon is a roomy high-tech vehicle. Soyuz can carry three crew members. Crew Dragon is rated for seven but usually flies with four under NASA's commercial crew program. Even after SpaceX adjusted seat angles to improve landing G-force tolerances, Dragon still offers more space and comfort. At 8.1 meters tall and 4 meters in diameter including its trunk, Dragon is slightly larger than Soyuz. Its capsule draws design inspiration from Apollo-era command modules, while its trunk houses solar panels, radiators, cargo space, and stabilizing fins. Dutch ESA astronaut Andre Kuipers once called Soyuz too small and tight. NASA astronaut Doug Wheelock, who's flown on both the Space Shuttle and Soyuz, described it more vividly. It's kind of like going over Niagara Falls in a barrel, but the barrel is on fire. Inside a 21st century spaceship, SpaceX engineer John Fetterspiel said one of their goals was to make Dragon feel like a spacecraft of the 21st century. Gone are the analog dials and mechanical keyboards of older capsules. Instead, Crew Dragon features three large touchscreens replacing traditional controls entirely. These screens provide access to 25 to 30 system pages, including life support, power, navigation, and more. Commander Doug Hurley of Demo2, the first Crew Dragon mission in May 2020, said, there's an overall systems page and then you can drill down into individual pages. Ideally, astronauts have minimal manual input. Dragon flies entirely on autopilot backed by SpaceX's ground control team. If a problem arises, automation and ground control handle it. Crew intervention is the last resort. Reliability and cost. While Soyuz is known for its safety and reliability, Crew Dragon has quickly proven itself. Since its debut in 2020, Dragon has flown more astronauts than any other spacecraft. By mid-2022, it had transported 22 astronauts, more than China's entire total since 2003. As of now, SpaceX has launched nearly 20 successful crewed missions for NASA, international partners, and private clients. Its higher capacity and faster turnaround have allowed it to overtake Soyuz in the number of astronauts flown annually. That trend is expected to continue as Soyuz missions decrease and Dragon remains available for both routine flights and emergencies. Dragon as a lifeboat One example of Crew Dragon's critical role came on December 15, 2022. A coolant leak on Soyuz MS-22 left its crew without a reliable emergency escape option. NASA and Roscosmos even considered using a SpaceX Dragon capsule as a lifeboat. A similar case occurred during Boeing's Starliner test flight, when technical issues rendered the capsule unfit for re-entry. The astronauts had to return to Earth aboard a Dragon, after being stuck in space for nine months. 
A more affordable option. Crew Dragon is not just modern and safe, it's more affordable. Thanks to the reusability of Falcon 9 and the Dragon capsule itself, a seat costs about $55 million, compared to $89 million on Soyuz. That's nearly half the cost. Enter Starship The Future of Human Spaceflight SpaceX is working to lower costs even further with Starship, its fully reusable next-generation rocket system. CEO Elon Musk has stated that each Starship launch could eventually cost under $10 million, thanks to full reusability and economies of scale. His long-term vision? Making space travel so affordable that a one-way ticket to Mars could cost less than $100,000, within reach for many people in developed countries. In his words, if someone wants to go to Mars badly enough, they should be able to. And the return ticket is free if they change their mind. Starship is designed to handle everything, cargo launches, space station resupply, lunar landings, and interplanetary travel. Eventually, it could replace all of SpaceX's current fleet, Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Crew Dragon, with one powerful streamlined system. The bottom line. This extended seat swap deal is more than a diplomatic formality. It opens the door for cosmonauts to work with some of the most advanced spaceflight technology ever built, and it cements Crew Dragon's status as a leading vehicle in human spaceflight. With Starship waiting in the wings, the next chapter in space exploration may be closer than we think. Are you excited about that future? Drop your thoughts in the comments.